say, as a filmmaker, I just want to applaud you guys for being there and being ready to take that risk and to make that call to shoot that footage and start telling the story because for a long time nobody was really putting it all together and, and you did and I think the story itself is fascinating and I, and I don't know when we're going to see an end to it but I think what's come out of this film that I've seen, I've seen it a couple of times now, um, is that what you've done is you've told a story about some pretty significant heroes that we have in Sacramento not just the fans of the Kings, but of heroes like Phil Cerna and like Greg Lukenville and like Kevin Johnson, who um, who should be honored and recognized. And you've done a really good job with that. But I just wanted to thank you for that. Thank you. Well, one one of the things too, we we were very committed, uh, especially early on, with not trying to frame the story. Uh, a lot of times, documentaries are done via a narrative that frames the story in a certain way. And we really tried our best. I actually tried to edit the whole thing without using any kind of narrative whatsoever. And it became impossible for the transitions. But because we didn't want it to be our voice uh, framing the story. We wanted the people that were in it, whether we agree with them or not, to be able to tell their point of view from, from the different sides of the media, uh, from the business side, from uh, the people side, um, and then from the political side as well. And uh, and try to put that story in context because that that was the thing that seemed to be missing. I mean, when we started doing it, it was like we felt like we were filling a vacuum. Like, why were we? We hadn't done anything like this before, not not on this scale in any way. Um, it seemed kind of almost weird for a bit. Like, why hasn't anybody done this story of, of this this remarkable 26, 27 years now uh, story between this team and this community? They've done little bits here and there, but. It, you know, without context, this last year doesn't mean as much. And so that, uh, that, that kind of sums up a little bit of, I think, what you're talking about there, too, and seeing those people, what they did and what they always will do. And of course, some of the stuff becomes less relevant now uh, as other points, but that's the nature of anything news-wise. I mean, you can look back at last year and see last year's news report, and it's very different now once you know the results. But that is. It's important history. It's important history. We figured that at that 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 was one of the things that whatever happened, people should know the information. What they do with it, what they decide is up to them. But they should have that knowing that. And I think there was a lot of people that didn't know all the stuff that went on. That there was this fight. That people heard bits and pieces of this. And they, maybe they heard the name "Here We Stay." Maybe they saw a "Here We Build" thing, but they didn't see all of that. And then put it in perspective of, you know how Greg Lukenville got a team here that we even had a team to have a here we say anything like that. And you know it's not it's not really a, a team piece. It's it's a, it's a people of Sacramento and I think the city's remarkable and I think it you know has so much potential uh, to be even better. And I think that's the thing and, and we're this weird Charlie Brown character of California that just you know you set up the ball, at least he sets up the ball, and we go to kick it. And, you know, it seems like every time we miss. But and at first you think, oh, why? Why is Charlie Brown doing this? But after a while, you start looking at it and go, you know what? He keeps trying. And, and there's something remarkable about that, to get up and, and keep trying. And, and that's I think, shows the character of the people this region. Whether we agree on a lot of things that we don't, I mean, we, don't we disagree on a lot of things, but that's what I feel about it.